Hey Advocom, my name is Graham. I'm the Managing Director of Next Aero. We were a startup team from Australia that participated in Amicom in 2018. We are from Melbourne, Australia and we make this guy. This is a very special type of rocket engine um, called an Aerospike and we came to Amicom because we were particularly interested to learn about how to um, build, a, build a company around a, around a hardware product. So how did we find Admacom? We thought it was a very well organized event um, over two weeks. Uh, all of the classes and courses and pitch sessions were incredibly well organized um, and I think we got value out of every, every single one. Um, the opportunities really are for a startup in any kind of industry. Um, so although we were from a space industry, Admacom was able to find um, industry professionals even from kind of similar areas and that really allowed us to basically learn skills in business development um, and industrial processes. We thought we actually got uh, really two good points of, of value. The first one I suppose was some of the industry tours that we got to do. Um, it really allowed you inside to see how some of these small and very large companies operate and you could speak directly to the people that you know, within a startup you're always trying to get access to an, an email and they're a bit tucked away and hard to find, but Admacom managed to get us you know, right inside and, and we're able to speak to them directly. That, that was really great. Um, the other point was the other startups there. A lot of them we found were um, higher education students in masters and PhD programs. Typically throughout their course they thought of some uh, IP or other kind of technology that's very similar to our case as well and so being able to speak to them like directly one-on-one -on -one and from a different background and culture was really I think that was our favorite part. Berlin is a great city for startups um, it's quite a quite an old city um, and it's got certainly a bit of a sort of entrepreneurial spirit and nature to it so that was really great it's got really good food fun nightlife um, the people are really open-minded so yeah Berlin's a great city for startups. So what does an industry like the aerospace industry need to succeed and what does a startup kind of need to know? Um, I think we went into Advocom with quite a clear view of what we were looking, at, looking to achieve. Um, in our case, we were looking to network with the European uh, space community quite, quite heavily um, and essentially learn the ropes about um, product quality and what it takes to actually uh, do business development with a, with a company that does extremely large investments. Within the, um, within the community that we met at Admacom, they were able to essentially network us to the right people and, and so actually we went on after the two weeks of the program, uh, my co-founder and I spent another three weeks touring around and meeting face to face with these people at their companies. So it was extremely great program. So how can established companies interested in helping the entrepreneurial space like Admacom guess be of assistance? In our experience, what made it um, really effective was not being, it would be great to be able to speak to people in the same industry, but actually we found speaking to people in adjacent industries like the automotive sector, um, like the uh, rail, rail sector as well, we found being able to speak to them, which are quite similar, and speak to them about business development and taking on new products and essentially asking the questions that they get asked but from the other side of the room. So if you're an, experience, you're an established company, you really have a lot to offer. Um, startups in particular from the other side. Um, I can think of two main reasons and these were mentioned essentially to me uh, during some of the mentoring sessions um, in the program. We found that uh, a lot of the companies were interested essentially to stay ahead, stay at the forefront of what's coming out of universities essentially today, so staying right at that leading edge of technology. The companies there, the startups, you know, have a high failure rate but the technology that they're working on is absolutely cutting edge. So if you're interested in um, staying at the front of technology, that's a, certainly a good reason, good reason to go. Um, and the other one we found is that it really gives you access to some of the most determined, most passionate people um, who are solving you know, real world problems. Thanks very much. I hope you enjoy this year's Advocom.